Yeah, well, here and Christina, this was the third time the Moss Point 100 men met publicly. Moss Point Alderman Enid Morris invited the group to this evening's ward meeting so they could discuss some crime prevention and solutions for the city. Guest speakers from Gulf Coast Crime Stoppers, Job Corps, and the Mississippi Department of Corrections shared ways people can get involved with improving their neighborhoods, especially young people. And the turnout for the meeting was impressive. More than 70 people showed up and were proactive in asking questions and brainstorming ideas about creating a more unified Moss Point. But the highlight of the meeting came from members of the community opening their hearts and wallets to donate to the city's youth baseball team. Within minutes, more than $2,000 was raised for the team. People at the meeting say that if this means giving kids a way to develop their talents and keep them out of trouble, then it's a small price to pay. It did my heart some good. It really did. It really did. It did my heart some good. It, it just, now some young man can come and play baseball and ain't got to worry about a fee. So now it's already taken care of. And that's good. And that's, that's, that's what you call giving back to the community. This is what we need in our community. This is what I need. This is what people that want to come and work for our city need. They need to see this type of support from a grassroots level. And to see a grassroots movement take place in Moss Point is just absolutely amazing. And I'm proud to see the diversity, men, women, white, black, everybody in our community coming together. This is what Moss Point needs, positivity and true growth. And now Mayor King says he hopes to see the same diverse crowd of people at tomorrow evening's special community meeting at Pelican Landing at 6 o'clock. Citizens will be briefed on the status of the police chief search and are asked to come with questions of their own for city officials to answer. Yes, you and Christina, that meeting, that special meeting here in Moss Point is just beginning. The mayor and all of his aldermen are here and they're ready to talk with citizens and answer their questions about issues that have been concerning them about Moss Point. The big question that's going to be on a lot of people's minds tonight, what happened with Keith Davis? Now, as we all know, he was prepared to take over as Moss Point chief of police, but a few days ago, he decided not to take the job. Now, people are scratching their heads and asking why. Oh, I spoke with Mayor Mario King yesterday ahead of this meeting and asked him what comes next in the search, where do, where, do, where do people in Moss Point go from there? And he told me that even though Keith Davis isn't taking the job anymore, that's not going to slow down the search process at all. They have resources at hand to start up a new search. Even when we first announced the position, myself and the human resource person have received numerous emails, numerous applications, numerous Facebook resumes, and so we have a large candidate. We're glad that so many people want to come to Moss Point, but it can only be one. So we're looking forward to the process, and we're looking forward to working hard um, with that search committee to, to get somebody in as soon as possible, but making sure we get the right person in. Now, the mayor wouldn't go into much detail about uh, why Keith Davis decided not to take the job, but he said he would discuss all that with community members tonight at, at the meeting. So those questions, those big questions, and a lot more are all going to be answered. I'll have more from this meeting on my Facebook and Twitter pages throughout the night. I'll be live tweeting the event, and I'll have that full story for you tonight. Reporting live in Moss Point, I'm Ray Price, WLOX News Now. That's Ray Price here to recap the details from that meeting, Ray. Well, Christina, the mayor and other city leaders used the two hours to speak openly about issues in Moss Point. People wrote their questions on pieces of paper before the meeting started, and they didn't hold back. Mario King not shying away from questions about his relationship with the Board of Aldermen and rumors of infighting to questions about the budget, safety, and the city job turnover rates. The discussion was calm overall, but there were some moments of intensity through the night. A man was escorted from the building after interrupting Mayor King, shouting that he isn't working as hard as he claims to be. There were also people leaving the meeting saying it was a waste of two hours and that nothing will change. But others who stick around say they feel that a lot, is, a lot was accomplished and brought to the light. It was very effective. In fact, uh, I like the way he spoke and, and, and I like the way that he was very forthcoming and forthright in his, in his language. I didn't bite his tongue at all. And so that's kind of what we are used to here in Moss Point. And so it's a, no wonder why he was elected. Now, when asked why so many people are quitting city jobs, Mayor King said he didn't have a clear answer. He said that some people quit because they can't keep up with the progress that needs to be made. Others quit because they get better opportunities. No clear answer about why Keith Davis didn't take the job of police chief, only that Davis chose to stay with DMR and that King supports his decision.